What's up guys, it's Sam the Raid Man. Today we are talking Void Legendaries. I want to see who are the worst Void Legendaries in the game. I'm going to be running some polls on my channel. I would love to hear you guys' feedback. But right now I'm going to rank my worst Void Legendary in every single faction. Try to make this as quick as possible because there's a lot of factions, a lot of Void Legendaries. Starting off with the Banner Lords. I think this one's pretty simple. Taras and Rochka, amazing. Baron, really, really good damage dealer. Quintus, good. I think Quintus is... Not great. Maybe needs a buff. I don't know. I don't have him yet. But I think Raglan is the clear worst Void Legendary. She feels turn meter on the A1. Heal proportional to her attack, which is weird. She does have a two-turn revive with full turn meter, but it's only one ally. So I think it's good, but she's not as good as a Siffy or a Duchess or even an Arbiter, really. As far as Void Legendaries go, she's just not great. All right. Moving on to High Elves. We got four here, Ethos, Bellinor, Arbiter, Supreme, Elhane. This is tough. They're all kind of good. There's nobody that's like terrible. If I had to pick one, I would probably pick Supreme Elhane. And it's not because she's bad. I just think everyone else kind of brings something else. Ethos brings two AoEs. He can be like a nightmare campaign farmer. He's got this attack that's always critical. Supreme Elhane is really just like a arena champion. She's only got the one AoE. She can ignore some stuff. She hits kind of hard. I know some people might say Bellinor, but he is AoE decrease defense and weaken, and there's just not a ton of champions that do that. He hits really hard. He's got a great aura, and he's got a really cool synergy with Xavier on his team. That one I'm like open to discussion, so let me know if you disagree in the comments. Sacred Order, we got a lot of them. Sir Nick, Venus, Cardiel, Constantine, Supreme Athol, Vitreus. There's two or three really good ones and two or three really bad ones. So Cardiel, Venus, Constantine, I would argue are pretty, pretty nasty. Sir Nick, Supreme Aethel, and Vitreus are the worst, I would argue. Now, I know Vitreus just got a buff. I'm not super familiar with what he had. And Aethel also got a buff. I kind of want to lean Sir Nicholas. He's just very, very old school. I got unkillable one for a four-turn cooldown. It's tough. He's cool, though. I want to say Vitreus. I think I will. Like Supreme Aethel has got some cool like free synergy, and she just got buffed. Again, I don't have like a super strong opinion on who I think is the worst, but I'm going to go with Vitreus the Anointed. Very cool looking. For how new he is, he has no excuse to be as bad as he is. That's my argument. All right, Barbarians. Four here. Turvold, Ursuga, Yakaro, Tuhanarok. This one's easy again. It's Ursuga. She's great. She's just very old school clan, like very old school arena, excuse me, like help keep her team alive. But we have Stone Skin. We have Necret, and even Necret's falling out. Necret's way better than she is. She just doesn't bring a ton. She brings nothing outside of the arena. And in the arena, it's very, very niche. Turvold, insane, insane damage. to Hunterock, great. Very good in clan boss. Super good in Hydra, like top 20 Hydra champion potentially. Very, very good. Yakarl, he's free for everyone. That, to me, boosts his value. AoE, crowd control, damage, and he's in a ton of super in-game Fire Knight hard teams. All right, Ogren Tribes. Got four here. This one's tough. Gurgo needs a buff. Grizor is amazing. He's the best by far. It's between Gurgo, Togron, and Bellatar. Togron had his time in the sun with um, the Yannicka team, basically. Bellatar isn't great. He's like a reviver. He's like a mini duchess, but he's not as good. I think I'd have to go with Togron. Got like a small chance at a buff spread, a heal, increased speed. That's not a bad ability, but continuous heal is only if they're low than half health. Turn meter by 20 small, increased accuracy is small, then a full cleanse. Like it's not, he's not bad. We're talking about void legendaries, but I guess he can increase his max HP. I don't know. I don't think he's great. It's between these two to me. Gurgo, like he's still good. Like he's got the AoE freeze, four turn cooldown, but he gets an extra turn. Hits kind of hard. He removes buffs. Places freeze, potentially, if he gets hit. I think he's for sure better than these two. I want to go with Togron as my final answer. All right, moving on to Lizardmen. We've got four again, and they're actually all four very, very good champions. Krisk, insane carry. Ramantu, insane. Um, Polymorph really hurts him. When Polymorph eventually gets nerfed because it has to, he'll be back in the meta. Chagor is very interesting. Sulfurion is really good. I think Sephorion has to be better with the HP burns and the revives. I think I'm going to go with Chigor. He's pretty niche. He's good in like Sand Devil. He's interesting in Clan Boss. But he's like sleeps and poisons and... I 
don't know. He's not. They're all good. This is a really tough faction to pick one. I think I'm going to go with Chigor just because he's pretty niche. Like if you get a Void Legendary and you get Chigor, I don't think you're super excited. All right, moving on to Skinwalkers. You got four Coronar, Tumisia, Leorius, Marius. Again, this one's easy. They're all really good. Tumisia is insane in Spider, insane in Hydra. Leorius is unbelievable in Arena. Really good anywhere. It can be good in like unkillable clan boss teams. And Marius is insane. Insane. So it's Coronar. Coronar is good. He's just not amazing. He's got AoEs everywhere. Does some provokage and stuff, counterattacks. I like Coronar. I would love to get one and mess around with him. But again, we're just comparing him to these four. And I think it is. Coronar is the worst of the Skinwalkers Void Legendaries. Orcs. We got four here. Similar to what we just talked about. They're all pretty great. Supreme Gaelic, unbelievable Hydra Champion. Warlord, unbelievable Arena Champion. Raka, really good Arena. Hydra. Dungeons, really solid. <laughs> So it's got to be Angar who just got buffed. He's literally just a provoker, and that's it. I mean, he just doesn't have a lot going on. He's a really good provoker, but do you need that? How many how many accounts like would really benefit from pulling an Angar? Not that many. Okay, Demon Spawn. We only have two here. It's Krutraxa and Anithui. They're both very kind of similar. They're mostly used in the arena. Krutraxa can be used in Fire Knight. I'm going to go with Kutraxa as the worst just because Anithui is block, revive on any ability, including Phantom Touch procs. So, especially if you're like Ash and you're a whale and you have a plus four Anithui, he's insane. He's also got really high base attack. You put him in Stone Skin or you put him protected by a Necrot or something like that. He can be really, really good. Kutraxa is super fun. Would love to have her. Just not as good, right? She's just a worse version of Little Miss Annie. Okay. Undead Horde. Speaking of Little Miss Annie, she's here. We got a lot more Void Legendaries. We got six. Siffy, Necret, Uroz, Little Miss Annie, Vlad, and Valkanen. Valkanen's an insane Hexer. Really cool in the arena. Really, really cool in Hydra. Vlad, pretty good. Arena damage dealer, really good when paired with Constantine. Uroz, I think, is underrated. Most people just use him. By the time you get him, you just use him to solo the Scarab King, which he's amazing for, and that is some value. But to me... I think he's really underrated. He places a lot of poisons. He's like an ally protector. You build this guy in, high, in a clan boss, he's going to do some insane stuff. So to me, it's between Tiffy, obviously not. She's like one of the best champions in the game. Um, Necret, he's falling out of grace a little bit, but I still put him above these two. It's between Vlad, Little Miss Annie. I don't have Little Miss Annie. I know that she can be used in like a Phantom Shogun or Sand Devil's Necropolis to like one shot the boss. So to me, it's between, I think it's probably going to be Vlad. I do think he's great. I do think he's useful if you're going to use him in Arena paired with Constantine. But if not, then I don't think it's going to be near as good. So I'm going to go with Vlad as the worst Void Legendary from Undead Hordes. Moving on to Dark Elves. Blind Seer, Lydia, Visix, Mithrala, Tremaria, Supreme Kale, Fatalis, Blademaster. A lot of choices here. We got seven Void Legendaries. To me, it's between Blind Seer, Tremaria, Fatalis, Blademaster. Let's go through their kits. Three hits at random, decreasing turn meter, block debuffs and shield, revives all dead eyes with block damage. That's pretty bad. Tremaria, I don't have. I know Ash likes her. AoE, decreased speed, chance of placing a fear, AoE, stun. So full cleanse, turn meter. If he's removing crowd control, more turn meter. Any other debuff, more turn meter. That's a really good cleanse. I think it's not going to be her. Speed in all battles by 23. I like Tremaria. Fatalis is cool. Uh, ignores 15% of the damage. Defense, if this attack is critical, which it should be. 20% chance getting an extra turn. Solid. Ignores strength and stun skin. I just know this doesn't hit hard enough. I've never actually built him, even though I have him. AoE ignores defense. Decreases the target's defense. Pretty cool. Okay. I think my answer is Blind Seer. I think Fatalis is not great, but I think Blind Seer is worse. I mean, really needs a buff. Where are you using this champion? Faction Wars? Uh, if you don't have great champions, uh, dungeons, if she's your only reviver, but if you have Arbiter, why would you ever use Blind Seer? Much less really, really good revivers. Okay. Knight's Revenant, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, Solus, great defense based nuker. Hegemon, super unique, still good in the arena. Whirlim, mm. Fortis, also, mm. <laughs> Georgian, insane in the arena. Narciss, the king of the arena right now, better than most mythicals. Carillon is interesting. I think he's up there. I like him a lot. He's got two AoEs. He's got a freeze or turn meter fill. And I use him in Hydra. I've used him in Hydra. 
So he's not amazing, but he's got niche uses. I also think this is one of the best wave clearing, not wave clearing, wave controlling abilities in the game. Very similar to Armand's. Armand's decreases everyone's turn meter by 100% or steals it and then places a stun on them. He does very similar. Fully depletes the turn meter of all enemies that receive freeze and then freezes them. And then if anyone resists him or is blocked or is unfreezable, like the Hydra Clan boss, then he just fills turn meter by each freeze blocked or resisted. So... You put our mods and him in a team, no waves ever getting a turn. Potentially just him, if he's fast enough, no waves ever getting a turn. So I'm not going to go with Carillon. I'm between Whirlum and Fortis. And Fortis isn't great, but I know he can do Nightmare Campaign, and that is more value than anything I've seen Whirlum bring. I know Ash is a stan. He's like, oh, he brings a lot of like damage mitigation. I just don't see where it's useful. I just don't. Unless you're forced to use one of these champions in like Cursed City... I don't see the value. Okay, last three factions. Not many choices here in Dwarves. Torment, Acrisia, Senna. Obviously, Acrisia is out. She's unbelievable. Senna, I'm not super familiar with. Increase speed, he increase uh, continuous heals, Terminator fill, revive with a little ally attack. I've seen uh, Bronco, I believe, use this in Fire Knight 10, which is really, really cool. Turn meter fill. I think she's niche. This is tough, guys. This might be the hardest one yet. <sighs> I'm gonna say Sen is the worst. Torment is still insane in the arena with how much like Arbiter is used and some other champions are used. His uh, crowd control passive when they get buffs or turn meter can freeze them. He can strip buffs here. He hits hard. He can place a provoke here. He can place a freeze on the A1. He's got a passive which if HP burn and freeze activated at the same time, he takes A1 in again, which can be really good in PVE content. He's got to provoke on a fortune cooldown, so you can be like kind of subbed in in Hydra. I just Senna seems more niche. Tormund feels like he can be used in a lot of areas. All right, Shadowkin. Again, we have five here: Riho, Jingwan, Yumiko, Genro, Shuzen. Three banger champions: Riho, Yumiko, Shuzen. Two duds of champions: Jingwan and Genro. Jingwan, tax one enemy, transfers all debuffs from this champion to the target. I know uh, the boy, HWZ, used him against Dragon Hard, which is very cool, but very niche. Um, tax one enemy, increase the duration of all debuffs, places block active skills. If they're under decrease accuracy or decrease crit damage. AoE places decrease accuracy or decrease crit damage and strengthen on himself. He's immune to crowd control. Removes that kind of stuff. That's interesting. Let's check out Ginro. Tax one enemy. Chance placing a cooldown of one target skills by two turns. That's not amazing. One enemy places stun for two turns. That's nice. Ignore blocks debuff from block damage. That's pretty cool. Increased defense and a counterattack on himself. Super selfish. So he's increasing his own defense, but every time he takes a turn, it resets. That's annoying. Um, resistance and accuracy is interesting. Provoke on all enemies that are under increased attack buffs. That's super niche. I think it's got to be Genro. Like... Especially with where you get him. I'm not trying to like take that into consideration too much. But Jingwan's bad. Don't get me wrong. Genro just feels worse. And by the time you get him, you will never use Genro the Stork. Okay. We got three here in the newest faction of Sylvan Watchers. Kladna is an HP burner with a sleep on the A1. Full cleanse. Block debuffs. Revive on death. Chance of blo completely blocking the incoming damage of the first hit on a random ally occurs once per turn. Imic is great. He's out. Yincenza, AoE, decrease attack. Continuous heal. Oh, she's the poison cloud on somebody. I think that's super niche, but, I mean, she's the only champion that has it, so it's also super unique, so it's got to be Claydna. I mean, I don't think there's a ton of argument. She's just like... Oh, she's not the HP burner. That's uh, Searsha. So let's see. Sleep on A1... 70% chance of placing decreased speed and leech. So it's not a hit, which is nice. You could do that in, in Hydra and stuff. Stores out of um, max HP, then heals. Full cleanse. I mean, I'm not super impressed with either of them, but to me, there's more uses and like excitement regarding Yin Senza. So that's going to be it for me. Definitely let me know in the comments. Roast me for who I messed up, who you would have included, and who I should have included. Um, and like I said, I'm also going to run some polls, basically faction by faction. Who's the worst Void Legendary? We'll continue some stuff from there. Hope you guys enjoy the content. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you all on the next one.